It's raining right now, in case you can't hear that. The rain drops, the rain drops, the rain drops, the rain drops. You guys like Radiohead? That's always what I think about when it's raining. That album wasn't that good though. <laughs> Hail to the thief. Hail to the thief. Yeah, well, the album was about George W. Bush. That's why it was called Hail to the Thief. Not that I don't understand their sentiment towards him, but I think that when musicians are like overtly political, it's just not as good. <laughs> because Radiohead was already, like, they're, they're very obviously, like, a certain way in regards to, you know, the government and all that shit. Like, they've, they've talked about that. Um, you know, and a lot of their albums, um, like Amnesiac and um, okay, computer. And, uh, what's that other one? Kid A. Kid A, Kid A, Kid A, Kid A. I need to, like, perfect my impression of, um, what's his face? Tom York. Tom York. He's really annoying. Like, I think he's insanely talented. And, I mean, what he's done with Radiohead is, is obviously really good. But he's also a fucking prick. And that's annoying. I promise you guys, if I ever get any kind of, like, fame, I don't know why the hell I would. But if something happens with me, I promise to be a good person still. I think that fame and money and popularity, all that like really changes people. Now I do think that one of the reasons why he's such a prick is because he resents that about it. But that's the thing, it's kind of stupid to resent that because he, he knew that that was gonna happen. You know, like, it's like people um, that get mad because like you criticize them but they're in the public eye like especially these people that that excessively use social networking sites and then they get mad because you criticize them it's like uh duh that's what people do oh hey god agrees with me <laughs> that's right that was thunder from the lord <laughs> I really think that God wants me to like talk about him in a way that people can understand and like not in a way that like puts him in a certain light. Like you only have to um like like see him in a certain way in order to like be a person that follows the word. You know? Like there are plenty of people that read the Bible that purposely misinterpret it, and I know that they do this with all of the holy books, um, but it's interesting, like, the similarities that you get between, like, the Bible and the Quran, and, and like, it's, it's funny how people get so mad about that, like, they, they think that there's only, like, one interpretation to everything, but... That really doesn't make sense to me because, like, if you're living your life in a way that you think, like, follows God, you know, it doesn't involve, you know, molesting a child or, you know, strapping a bomb to yourself. Like, that's, that's good, you know? I <laughs> it's good to be, like, a devout person that actually, you know, practices what you preach and you're not 
just using it as an outlet to be crazy or be terrible or be a sick, twisted piece of shit. Um, so, they've been trying to sort of normalize and destigmatize pedophilia. Um, and I know that I've mentioned that, like, I think that if you have urges to like have sex with a child like I don't think that you're a terrible person because you have those urges however if you have sex with a child I do I think that you should be I, I'm not gonna say punished to the fullest extent of the law because what the what the fuck does that even mean um, and personally I don't think that that would be enough anyway to um, compensate for your wrongdoing but I realize that I'm not God, so it's wrong for me to judge people. Um, I mean, I, I feel like as a society, I just our judicial system, period, is like, I, I almost think it's like sacrilegious. And it's not like they follow it anyway, because if you have money and you have a title, and especially if you have fame, you can get away with murder. Just ask OJ Simpson. So. A lot of people would say that that's because of his race, but it really had very little to do with that. They made it about that because that's all the media ever talks about. But it had everything to do with his fame. And so... The media talks about certain things that might actually be fucked up. But they never talk about it in the way that they should talk about it. Um, which should tell you right there that they're completely unreliable. Sorry, I've been holding this, like, piece of tape. Yeah, I realized that I don't have my scissors up here. And I'm like, what the fuck happened to my scissors, man? Well, I guess we'll figure it out soon. Um, but, yeah, so they, they keep, there are all these shootings that keep happening, and, like, personally, I just don't give a fuck about it. And I know that you'd say, well, that's because you're pro-Second Amendment. No, I see, the, I see the bullshit behind all this, man. They're trying to make this an issue about mental illness to get even more people on psychotropic drugs. The same psychotropic drugs that are causing these, these violent acts in the first goddamn place. And they will never, ever talk about that because it's not convenient and it doesn't fit the narrative. And that's what's fucked up about it, man, is they'll just let more people die because they don't actually give a fuck about those shootings at all. They don't give a fuck about anything, really. The media is designed to manipulate and contort all of the facts. I'm not saying those people didn't die. I'm not saying that it's not a loss. I mean, you guys know my feelings on humanity right now, uh, but it's like I read about this stuff and I, <laughs> if you just read an article about the news story, like it's very clear like, after a while of reading newspaper articles and just seeing, like, what they want to push for, you know, it's gun control and mental health. So, every single time that one of these shootings happens, they always talk about, yeah, well, this is obvious that we need, we need gun control. Because, of course, they brought up the, the Florida shooting at, uh, in, um, Park Parkland, Florida. Um, they brought that up and they brought up, you know, that, oh, we need to start talking about mental health. What that means is we need to get more people on drugs. We need to uh, get the state to intervene in people's lives even more than they already do. And I guarantee you that it'll be more of an issue with, um, what do you call it? The red flag law? That'll be way more of a thing that they try to push for in like every single state in America. 
Now, I don't know if Tennessee will be negatively impacted because Tennessee is like as red as you can possibly get. Uh, so I'm just gonna stay here. I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. I'm not like even, I don't even own a gun, you guys. But I, I totally believe in self-defense and I think it's really fucked up that the government would try to intervene in your ability to protect yourself and that they think that they know what's best for the citizens when it's very clear that they don't. <laughs> you know, they, they think that because you administer corporal punishment on your child or you refuse to vaccinate them or you refuse to give them psychotropic drugs to turn them into a zombie so you can pretend that you had an abortion, um, they think that if, if you're an actual parent that, you know, raises your kid the way that you see fit and not the way that the government sees fit, that, you know, well, they're legally obligated to place you in a very abusive home, you know, where they guarantee that you're screwed up the way that they want you to be screwed up. And, um, I don't know. It's pretty fucked up, man. It's pretty fucked up. I try to let this stuff go and not let it get to me, but, you know, I have a hard time letting stuff go, so... That's just amusing, just saying that out loud, you know? But, um, I don't know, it's just pretty ridiculous that, um, people still have faith in our government. <laughs> just, I don't understand it. Like, I, and, like, nobody will ever, like, convince me otherwise. Nobody will ever be like, you know, maybe if we did this policy, maybe you should shut your fucking yapper. That's what you should do. Because it doesn't matter, like, what policies they say they're going to do. If they don't actually live up to these things, like, say they, they pass a law and they're saying, okay, our government money goes to this. How do you know that? How do you know that they're actually doing what they say they're going to do? Anyway. I'm gonna go to my sanctuary. Now, for those on the religious right that are like, your sanctuary is Dunkin' Donuts? Well, you're sacrilegious. You don't have to go to church to believe in God. You don't have to just sit in a fucking pew and listen to some fucking child molester in order to absorb the word of God. You don't have to do that. You could just carry the Bible around with you in a fucking Hello Kitty backpack and you can read that motherfucker everywhere you go. You know what? You know what? I read this sometimes when I am prepping stuff at work. So when I'm putting little pieces of cake into a container and putting a cap on the top, I am reading the scripture. <laughs> it's just so annoying fuck people on the right like literally like people on the right are like the whole reason why we can't have nice things like God you know we can't worship the way that we want to worship and we can't believe what we want to believe and I keep hearing people shit talk Marian Williamson because she's a new agey bitch I know she's a new agey bitch but maybe that's that's a way for certain people to find God maybe you need to stop like getting in the way of their own spiritual awakening or whatever you want to call it just because it's not like the dogmatic approach that you take to it doesn't mean that it's fucking wrong she could possibly help a lot of people and if she's like holistic about it I'd say that's pretty cool it's way better than relying on pills Anyway, I'm going to go get my coffee, and I guess I'll see you guys later, well, in like 15 minutes, because it looks like there's a line. <laughs> I'll be back.